Hey, hey, man. Thanks for tuning in again, man. Uh, I'm gonna, got a club car president here. I wanted to show you how to bypass the M core on it, the micro switch inside the M core. Um, if you got one that intermittent runs or pretty much runs when it wants to, um, it's probably the micro switch on the M core. I'm gonna show you how to bypass it and see if that's your problem. Or if you have one that at full pedal or half pedal, it fluctuates speed. That's probably the potentiometer side of the M core. Uh, you can't bypass that. You have to replace. But the first thing you need, man, is a T40. Get your T40. Uh, got one here. That's a torque head. Another torque head 40. It's a T40. Back out some. All right, you got two two of them here. All right, back them out. And then you want to take your mat, just pull up on it like that. All right. Under here, this is your pedal box here. There should be a little push rivet here, so you want to snatch up on it. And if you look here, uh, you got the green and blue wire. The green and blue wire is your micro switch side. Um, it should show battery voltage when you turn the key on, so you could test it that way to make sure you got voltage from the key switch. A uh, black lead of your meter on the main negative, and the red lead on the uh, blue wire coming from the key switch. Um, this is your potentiometer here. All right. This is your micro switch here. So you want to press this down like this. And what we do, um, the test, like I said, you could test with voltage, but in order to check output coming out, it's kind of hard unless you got a voltmeter that's uh, made to pinch the wire and pierce it that way. Um, but if you have voltage going to it, you could just uh, bypass it and see what it does. And what you want to do, we use a, a paper clip or you could, you could use a little wire but we just take a paper clip. Just touch the two wires together. Just give me one second, man, trying to do it by myself. Take it like this here. Just hook the two wires together. All right, now the way it works, the solenoid would not engage until it gets uh, ohm reading in front of potentiometer, all right? So even though you got a bypass, the car still won't run until it gets a potentiometer reading. It's pretty much for safety, man. So if the gas pedal sticks down, um, it'll shut the car off or get like a high pedal disabled, which shuts the car off from taking off. But all right, man. Stay tuned, man. I appreciate you watching, man.